I'm Elias. Isabella Silva. Jacob Boyd. Oliver. My name is Rebecca. I'm Jack. I'm Micah. My name is Liam. My name is Maya. My name is Lucy. Nate. What are some relevant social issues you have been seeing in real um, I think the housing crisis and homelessness are probably some of the biggest issues right now. Um, I know from experience that people who have lived in Burlington for more than 10 years, they say that it's gotten significantly worse in the last decade. Um, I know also that the vacancy rate in Burlington is like 90, or sorry, it's like less than 1%, which is insane. So I think Burlington needs to do a better job with providing housing and reducing the homelessness population. The homelessness situation, I don't, I don't feel like it affects my personal experience that much, but I know it's something that's been on people's minds, especially who live downtown. Definitely am now like facing part of like the house, just finding places, like we just have such limited housing and landlords really do use students' naivety, naivety to their like advantage. And I've, so I've been living in the same spot for three years and every year they'll, they'll raise it by like a hundred dollars. A lot of people struggling and you hear about, you know, I'm just hearing about overdoses and like, oh, this is very sad. Well, I think it's always an issue. I don't think we should just like leave it be. But at the same time, it's like you can't really fix it that easily. But I work downtown, I walk home late at night and I see it every night just like around me. Uh, it's a little concerning, you know, just people nodding off. Just, struggling, it's hard to see. Like when I've been coming home kind of later at night, like it's not necessarily scary, but I've definitely been in some weird situations, especially with people like on Colchester and stuff, it's a little bit of a, um, yeah, like unsafe feeling sometimes, which isn't always amazing. Well, I, like, I've been catcalled at like 10 a.m. on like a, a Saturday, mm -hmm. so it's definitely, it's not just like at night. I think that there's an amount of a rage gap. As well as a lack of housing, a lack of affordable housing, and as a result, uh, an increase in homelessness. Yeah, I already got a house for next year um, for some of my friends, um, but like the location is supposedly like a little, little sketchy. I think one of the misconceptions is a lot of the crime isn't violent; it's just people looking for opportunities to get some amount of like asset to survive, they don't want violence, um, but there is a fear of like getting into it, so it's not as much. You know, like a lot of these bigger social issues, it feels, it's definitely something that's much bigger than everyone. I guess if there could be any solution that I would want to see would be um, just better mental health care in Burlington, better resources. Um, to help people get off drugs or better facilities to help deal with addiction and obviously lower housing costs. But.